So Alicia, my final question for you is, as we are approaching 2024, can't believe it's already there. So what tips you have for job seekers in terms of job search strategies? What's trending? What's coming in 2024? Sure. So the clients that I'm working with, I'm seeing a lot more companies that were originally remote beyond COVID are going back into a hybrid model, right? So it's now three days in, two days off. There's some flexibility around the three days. Uh, some companies are going back four days. So when you're thinking about your job search strategy moving forward, these are conversation points you want to have in informational interviews, in regular interviews, in networking events. You know, what is this company seeing moving forward from best working practices? Because some organizations might say, you know, I don't, I, we really only see success when we have people in office interacting. Or some companies might say, you know what, wherever you get your job done is fine with us. But yeah. knowing that ahead of time and also knowing what your non-negotiables are. If your non-negotiable is I need to be home at least three days of the you know work week, know that going in and set clear expectations for yourself. Don't go into an interview with, well, I, I hope it's this, but I'll take it anyway. If it's not, if you really know that's not going to set you up for success long term. Yeah. And then the other trend that I'm seeing is, as we all know, I think everybody now is using some form of AI, right? Yeah. Whether that's chat GPT or, or others. I love the productivity um, hacks in a sense that we can gain from using AI like chat GPT. My biggest concern is the reliance on them solely yeah. And so when I talk to people that use it, it's, oh, this is great for this, that, or the other thing. And one of the things I hear a lot about is brainstorming ideas. Mm -hmm. I fear the use of overusing AI for brainstorming. I think where humans obviously outweigh the benefits of AI is just our creativity in how we, you know, brainstorm ideas. And I think if we rely on AI and they come up with 10 ideas for whatever you're brainstorming, you might just look at those 10 ideas and kind of lose that momentum and creativity to brainstorm on your own. So that's my biggest concern with AI. It's just a trend that I'm seeing everybody using in their job search and so forth. But I would hate to see it take away, like we were talking about before, that unique value that you bring to the table. Um, without ever really exploring your own brainstorm yeah. and just using AI. Because chat GDP, we are all going to use. And it's just kind of a first draft, but you need to add your personality, as you mentioned, because your personal brand, your authentic self should reflect, and it's not just the machine. Absolutely. And with that, my interview comes to an end, Alicia. I really enjoyed the conversation very practical tips that everyone can use. And again, thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have more tips, you can leave them below. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Alisha, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone.